Um, this is RELG VH10 LED feed tutorial. The topic is FSMC, Flexible Static Memory Controller. Uh, we will talk about the uh, memory mapping. Our example is a uh, TFT LCD. Uh, we will draw something on the LCD, uh, for example, draw the box or draw some characters. Uh, of course, the lab menu is long, so uh, please go through the lab menu before you start the experiment. Here, uh, a data sheet ILI9341. This is a uh, data sheet for the LCD. The LCD size is 320 by 240 uh, on the top of the project board. Um, how the CPU can communicate to the device? Now, if the device and the CPU on the same PCB, then you can use the serial or parallel communication. If the um, serial, if the TX and RX combined use the same data pin, then of course um, this is one wire, but the CPU cannot talk and Nixon at the same time, so this is a half deal pass. Then if you separate the TX and RX means that you have the two wire, one for TX, one for RX. So at this time, you can do full dual pass communication. If the coxillo is separated, then uh, means that this called called syn synchronized. Um, asynchronous, uh, you cannot find the uh, coxillo. So for uh, zero communication, you can find the pins that may be linked TX, RX, and COG. Then, uh, because they use a one ch data channel, so it is easy to make a high speed communication in serial. Um, some standard we use the serial communication on the board is uh, called SPI or I square C. Uh, they are come from different company. One is from Motorola and one is from uh, Philips, or say from America or Europe. Uh, SPI is uh, two wire communication. I square C is uh, one wire communication. Um, another problem: you use a serial, then you adjusting how to. CPU communicate to multiple uh, device addressing problem. On the PCB, the distance is uh, very short, uh, less than half meter. Then uh, you can use another mode for communicate. Is uh, use a parallel. Parallel means a multiple data bits. You maybe eight b sixty b or thirty thirty two bit or something. Then uh, so it is impossible to do full deal pass must be hard still best. Then uh, multiple pins, so we will not call the data pins, you call the bus. Then uh, data, use a data bus. For adjusting, use adjust bus. For controlling, use control bus. Okay. Then uh, because multi multi data pins means the multi data channel, then uh, each cycle you can send a lot of the data. So this is high speed. But uh, in the PCB design, it's very hard uh, for the high speed because uh, the delay. You have to ensure the data arrive to the uh, end device at the same time. If the uh, use multiple pins, for example, 32 pins, means that the length uh, of the trace all are the same. So uh, another problem is the EMC problem. Then uh, you can see the multiple pins is uh, 8 pin or 32 pins. Then it is uh, will consume the space. So it is impossible to build a tiny device. Tiny device normally use a, a serial communication. Then another is the bot to bot. If the device out of the, your main PCB, then uh, will create another problem. Environment problem, okay, uh, and, and, it, and other limitations. So the engineer will uh, use uh, some strategies. For example, use a voltage, use a current, single end, differential end, or use special cables, a twist cable, cholesterol cable. And another problem is if the 
two board is powered from different power supply, then we generate another problem, grounding problem. So our uh, engineer will over, uh, overcome this with use a transformer or optical uh, transformer, Ethernet, uh, Ethernet uh, card is used as a transformer and today uh, sometimes use an optical. Uh, for example, HDMI use optical. Uh, in Lab 2, we study RS-232. It uses a positive and negative 5 volt. The standard is a 10 meter distance. Uh, if you change another standard, RS-458, then it uses a curve. So you can see the distance from 10 meter change to 1000 meter. So for different purposes, uh, engineer uh, forms different standard. Uh, for example, USB, 5i, or campus. Campus is uh, special for the car. Um, if you want to do parallel communication board to board, actually they use a um, few serial channel. Not there's a di difference from the uh, on the board the parallel, just a few channel parallel. Now, and what's the device? Um, device may be memory chips. It's a very simple. Uh, this is uh, everything is controlled by the the master CPU. But if sometimes the uh, device is very complicated, actually this is not a uh, logical chips. This is uh, another system. Uh, for example, our display. Uh, sometimes for communication, Bluetooth communication, something like that. Then, uh, actually, uh, another CPU inside the device. So you just send the command to the device, then the device can complete the task automatically. Uh, so the timing for this case uh, is just for uh, communication. So uh, the process time you have to check the data sheet of the device. Um, based on this, then uh, today engineer will put everything they want to the chips to form the uh, system for form the device, they will put the digital, analog, and power circuit, everything, to the chips. At this time, uh, this is called the system on chips. Then, uh, STM32 is the genetic CPU, so they keep uh, the external bus actually for uh, flexibility, and they don't they don't know uh, what should be included chips, so uh, reduce the cost. They they keep this one. Uh, some special version, uh, MV, will include another features for their purpose. Okay, then how to uh, assess memory, full, full address bus, data bus, and control bus. Now, the CPU and memory and other device the same. Okay, then they will use the data bus, address bus, and control bus to. Uh, to the communication. In our STM, uh, our core test MV, then uh, the FSMC controller here, it connect to the bus and the memory chips, memory chips connect, connect to the external memory controller. Then our memory chip is LCD. The example is LCD. Uh, you can see uh, the FSMC is connect to the bus matrix. It means that uh, the speed is uh, lower than the con connect to the iCook directly. Uh, when you turn on the FSMC, then uh, if you use a lot of the adjustable data bus, so it will occupy a lot of the physical pins. Now, uh, the time diagram, if uh, for lem low, mem low memory, uh, if you want to read access pins the CPU get something from the memory chips. Now first step, the CPU will generate the address and enable. Enable means that uh, to the memory chip say uh, I'm, look, I'm, I'm looking for you. Output enable means that uh, the memory chips you can talk now. So um, the CPU will release the data bus now. This is high, this is low. When in this case release is in high impedance. Okay. Then uh, after that, 
the memory chip decode the address, then we will uh, output the data because output enable output the data to the data bus. At this time, the CPU will copy the data from the data bus, so this read as this. Uh, after when the CPU complete the copying, then uh, it will turn off the output enable and turn off the en uh, e en enable. Means that uh, the memory chips uh, is is uh, the process is fine. Okay, then you can release. Then uh, the data uh, the memory chips will release the data bus and keep high impedance. Then uh, the CPU will take over the control. Now, if the white address means that the CPU write something to the memory chips uh, first, then CPU will generate the address and enable is uh, talk to the chip memory chip I'm looking for you. Then this time, uh, output enable is no. This N means that uh, negative enable, so this is don't output. Don't output then, uh, but will Y enable means that you can, the uh, memory chip, you can copy the data now. Now at this time, uh, the CPU will generate the data to the data bus and request the memory chip to copy the data. So uh, when the CPU believe uh, the memory chips finish the copying, then we'll turn off the copy command. Means that uh, stop copy. Then uh, at this time, the CPU will keep the data at a certain time, ensure uh, the memory chip can get the correct data. After that, the uh, CPU will uh, release uh, enable. Means that uh, okay, uh, you can not, you can go out. Eventually, you can go out. Then uh, CPU will do the another process. Oh, this uh, memory mapping some complicated. Ah, uh, the MV address is uh, full is a four gigabyte. Then one gigabyte for external memory. The address from six zero to line F. Um, this uh, FSMC can control uh, more memory, like memory card or PC card. Um, for the long memory or pseudo went, uh, uh, static memory, the adjust bus is from A0 to 25, data bus is 16 bit, and we we'll use the output enable, Y enable, and NE uh, enable chips left. Okay, what's this? Now, uh, overall is one giga, overall is one giga uh, by memory. Then uh, we separate into the four band. Band one, two, three, four. Band one is for raw memory. Band two, band three is a flash. Band four is a PC card. So we'll talk about the raw memory. This part six zero. Um. Then uh. This band is 256 megabyte. The address is 60 to 6F. Okay, then we'll separate this uh, band to four region. Four region. Each region is uh, 64 megabyte. Okay, then uh, this four region will use NE1 to NE4. Okay, so. Uh, the physical address pin for each 64 megabyte from 0 to 26. Now, uh, totally 256 megabyte means that uh, you have to use 28 uh, address bus. Then, physical pin use the uh, 26, and uh, NE1 to NE4 use another. So total is 28. Now, then our LCD. We we'll connect to NG4. NG4 means that hit this one. Band 1 region 4. This 64 uh, megabyte. Okay, then uh, LCD. How to connect the LCD? Now, LCD, uh, this uh, BL is bad light. Okay, then we'll use a GPIO. Uh, 
CS chipset, then we will use NE4, so band, uh, band 1 region 4. Then uh, RS, this is special. When RS equal to 0 means the command, RS equal to 1 is data. So um, the PCB designer connect this to A10. So we only use one address pin uh, for data or command. And another is uh, write and read. Write read means that use a uh, write and upgrade enable. The data is 16 bit, so we'll use the uh, data pins. Now, um, our CPU is 1032 to the, uh, this is module of the LCD. Uh, actually, the, your CPU is taught to the these chips, and this chip control the LCD matrix. Then, uh, how to communicate? Uh, you may send command only, and send command plus one data, command plus two data, or command plus four data to the uh, to the LCD. Then, how to define the command data? Use A10. When A10 equal to zero means that command. A10 equal to one uh, means that uh, data. So when A10 equal to zero, actually cover this range address. Um, if A10 equal to one, the range uh, is this. So uh, 64 uh, megabyte. Actually, we only use a few bytes. If the A10 equal to zero, the range from here to 7F, and uh, A1, A10 equal to one is uh, zero zero, A1, A zero zero to the FF. Okay, then uh, use this structure program. Um, this part is very common to use the C program direct access the address. So this is 64 megabyte but only we only use four bytes okay then command uh, check the data suit you can find a lot of the command but only few command is enough for our experiment uh, this one for example seal one is a reset and uh, one one is a uh, slip out something like that and display on something like that so different command will take uh, different time uh, the performance you have to check the data sheet okay now uh, we give you program uh, you need the LCD okay so uh, you can you explain that in a uh, let me pop uh, at the end at the end of the unit program then uh, you set parameter and turn uh, LED light on Set parameter is called another function like this. And LED on just uh, use a GPIO to turn on the bad light. Uh, it's night uh, that one. Um, the color of the LCD, uh, it use a 60 bit 2 byte for one point one color. Uh, because human eyes is sensitive to green color, so it use a 66 bit. Uh, to present the green color, so uh, we'll call this method is 565 RGB color. Okay, when you want to draw a dot, then you have to set the location X, location Y, and the color for the dot. You, if you want to fill a rectangle, then uh, you have to give the start point and end point and the color. Stop on the link X, uh, the color. Okay, stop. This is Y pawn. This stop on. Okay, then expand V point one. You draw the line. You know, draw the dot so you can draw the line. Uh, this is our given program. Then you draw some lines on the screen. Uh, Fib on two, then uh, you draw the rectangle. Draw rectangle. That uh, means you have to start and end position and draw enough dot. 
Now, when you know the how to draw the rectangle, then uh, next is the draw the seven segment. What's the seven segment? Seven segment like this. Use the seven segments to represent decimal or has a decimal. Uh, the segment is called A B C D E F G. If this call is uh, H, okay, then uh, your task is draw segment and count down. Uh, I want to say this a uh, chapter uh, when you do the counting down. Uh, watch the chapter when you do this, you know, and make your own solution to solve the problem. Okay, how to draw alphabet on the screen? Uh, English alphabet uh, normally the size is twelve by six or sixty by eight, and uh, we we'll use ASCII format to represent the characters. Uh, ASCII is seven bit, so only uh, zero to one hundred twenty seven is rather. What's ASCII? Uh, now this is from zero to one hundred twenty seven. Okay, seven bits. Uh, only part of this, the green color, is a printable. Uh, you have to use print the four one and four two. Actually, it's A and B. Okay, and uh, when you send string, I will say the number is zero. Zero means the low. We use low to be sent end of the line. Uh, we will. Give you a file font h, okay. This is a uh, six by eight uh, size, so you can some kind of some array inside. For example, uh, we want show this character at. You can find uh, the offset thirty two. Then uh, you use some uh, bytes to be sent. For example, uh, the first one is zero fee, zero fee. This zero fee. Zero E zero. This is E zero. So one seven. I was so zero C. This is zero C. Okay. Use the same method to represent the character. Actually, uh, the CPU don't know what is. Just draw some graphic on the screen. Now this is a given program. Uh, convert the uh, font H. Uh, to the ASCII to the the bitmap to the screen. So uh, your task is create another font dot h c font dot h uh, c font dot h Chinese character normally we will use uh, sixty by sixty. Then um, so you draw your name, your Chinese name, three or four character. Okay, from the font dot h only contain three or four character for your names. Uh, if you don't have the Chinese name, then maybe you are Japanese or Korean or something. Then draw your name in your country format, Japanese or Koreans. Uh, or you can draw some uh, logo, okay, on the screen. Maybe this is your name. Up to you. Oh, the last part is a bonus. Then uh, overlay. What's overlay? Then uh, we'll use the Color black and white to draw, but uh, when when you do the project, if the black one is the graph, uh, is a picture, then uh, if you black and white, then means that uh, the digit will cover your uh, picture. Then try to solve the problem. Only the character show on the picture, but this right color will not uh, change the original color of the picture. Okay, that's all.